Hey, what's up, guys? It is the Techie Musician from Rainbow Socks here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, and today I'm going to be talking about a story that just happened to me and my friend. Um, so, yeah. A lot of the times people will come up and tell you that, you know, people were, uh, people are, uh, there's a lot of bad people, and that you will get, I don't know, something will happen if you find them, like they'll mug you very rarely, like kidnaps or something. Um, and, and you're just like, yeah, 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 whatever. Good, like, everyone in the world is good. It's not like I'm ever, you're ever gonna meet someone. Well, um, uh, I actually met someone. Uh, I actually met a mugger. Uh, I think he was a mugger. Um, pretty sure he was. But let me just tell you the story. Kind of a scary story. It's a very crazy experience in my life. Just in case you're gonna click off this video, I am going to pull, tell the, one of the reasons I'm making this story. I know, you're like... You're you're really young. You you think that you like know everything. You think that like oh, um, this isn't ever gonna happen to me. Like this is like a very rare thing. It's never gonna happen. Well, I'm your age, and it happened to me. So I'm just going to tell you that it does happen. And yeah. So wait, am I in a chat thing? Hold on. <laughs> I don't think I'm in a chat thing. Yeah, I don't think I'm in a chat thing. Never mind. Okay, I'm not in a chat thing. Alright, good. So, anyway. Um, on to the story. So, you know, I was in a summer camp with my friends. You know, we were doing our thing, playing the drums. So, pretty much, we, um... Really? An alarm's going off of my phone. Um, so we were just doing our thing, playing the drums. And, uh, camp ends. So we go to... Uh, the bus stop, and we're waiting for the bus, and a guy asked what bus we're taking, uh, and I thought he was asking for the bus schedule, and so I told him, uh, that, w that, uh, next bus is in, like, ten minutes, uh, so, you know, regular stuff, and they said, and then he s said to other people, they have phones, so I was like, oh crap, so I grabbed my friend out of the bus stop, and we go to the train station, which is right next to the bus stop, we got him a ticket. Now, while he was getting a ticket, he looked over to where the guys were. He did not see them looking at us. He did not tell me this while it was happening. So, I, you know, I was completely fine with it. You know, I was just getting him a ticket. I scanned my uh, bus card because I had a bus card. Um, so we head down to the station. Still no sign of the guys. Now, I don't know where the muggers were at this point. I think they're probably hiding somewhere or trying to avoid us. So, we waited for the next train, there was a bunch of, there was a pack of security guys, because there's security guys with the train. So, you know, we were waiting with the security guys, we didn't tell them what was going on, we were just right next to them. Um, just to, you know, be safe in case the guy does come. So, I don't know exactly how, because up at, we were, you know, we were waiting for the train. It was completely empty besides the security guys and us. So, right when the train came, there was people on the train, they got off the train, we got on the train, still no sign of this dude. So we got on the train, we, go, we went on the train, I think he got, the muggers went on another car somehow. Um, and you know, we were on the train. We took another route home because he didn't want to, the muggers to get us. So then he got off the train, and he went to the bus stops because the train station didn't stop at my house. Uh, wasn't at my house, so you know I was going to take the bus on the, on the, the rest of the way uh, back to my house. So you know, we were waiting at the bus stop. And this bus stop was heading back in the direction of the train station that, um... Uh, the, in, back to where the station was. So, you know, um, back to the original station that we were waiting at. Uh, that we were, that we were, that I originally caught the train on. So, it was a little strange, because we saw them, the exact same people. My friend gave me a nudge nudge saying, hey, those are the guys. So, I was like, oh, crap. So, we knew that at this point that they were probably going to get us, or something, because... Um, they, it, that, that, that bus stop is going back in the direction of the original station. So it's pretty strange that they would just be there. And it's pretty strange that we have to do that. So, you know, we were, uh... My mom's work is literally right next to the bus stop. Like, right next to it. Like, right next to it. So, you know, we went to my mom's work because we were pretty freaked out at that point. We told the person at the desk at the building she works at about the guy, and she took notes, so I'm assuming she was trained about this. She, like, took a piece of paper, took some notes on it, asked for a, uh, sketch of the guy, asked what he looked like and stuff. And then he just waited around in the building, uh, and he went to the store that was there, we got some food. We, you know, we just waited there for a bit, waited for the guys to go. Then, um, 
I contacted my mom, who was in a meeting, so I, she didn't Im immediately respond. So I called my dad because he works at home, which is not, which is pretty close to where we were at at this point. So I said, "Hey, dad, this happened. Uh, I am pretty freaked out. Can you pick us up?" So I asked him to pick us up. He said he would. Uh, and then my mom responded to the text message I sent her saying, um, saying that, uh, we were at the lobby and that she didn't have to come because dad was already coming to get us. She didn't get the text in time. She was already on her way to the lobby. So she came down to the lobby. Um, she, uh, she said, good job. You did the right thing. Uh, next time if they try to do this, just give them what they want. It's not worth it. Stuff like that. So, um, we hung out with her. My dad came eventually, we got, uh, I walked with my mom and dad for a bit, then my mom had to go back to work, so uh, I left her to work and my dad drove us home, and my dad was done with work at that point. So, we just, were at home, and now I'm at home. So, we, it was about maybe 5.15, 5.20, uh, we were supposed to get home at like 4.30, so that's kind of a bummer that we like were 45 minutes delayed and Je uh, my friend uh, whose name totally isn't Jack um, was supposed to go home at 6.30 and it was 5.15 so he only had an hour thanks to those stupid guys so um, we just I, ha I hooked up my so that uh, okay back to the beginning I forgot to mention something at the beginning he had to use the restroom before he left, and I said, no, dude, we'll be back by, like, 4.30, you don't need to use the restroom, everything's fine. So we took, because there was a, kind of a line at the bus stop, at the, for, at the uh, restroom. So then he took the bus, you know, he was fine with it. And then it's 5.20, and, you know, we were supposed to get home, like, 40 minutes ago, like, a long, we, I don't know, that's not the correct math. But, we were supposed to get back a long time ago, so at this point, he really had to freaking use the bathroom. So I don't know why he didn't use the restroom at my mom's work, but he really had to use the restroom. So I let him use the restroom, and I went downstairs, and I set up my 360, and he played some Forza, because that's what we wanted to do at the beginning of the day. So, you know, we played some other video games, such as Forza. We played Forza for most of the time. And his parents didn't get the message that he wanted to stay longer because of the guys. So his parents were there at the original time, which is uh, kind of sad. But he got picked up, and this happened a few hours ago that, since I'm recording this. So he's probably he's going to come over tomorrow, and we're going to do this. So, yeah, if you guys checked out the video on Dead Ice, which is my other channel that I am running with a go other group of friends, then check it out in the description below. It's also using Halo 5 gameplay. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of this story. Um, moral of the story, as I said in the beginning, this, ca this can happen to you. Don't think it can't happen to you. So, yeah, anyway, that's the end of this video. Remember, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more. Uh, details about stuff in the description, and I'll see you later. Bye bye. Alright, so make sure that if you didn't, uh, if you're watching this without looking at the video, that you watch it again with looking at the video. Just because if you're just listening to the audio, I put some notes in the actual um, video part of this video. Um, so make sure that if you are just using this, using an app like YouTube Red, that you're just listening to, uh, to the audio, make sure you, li you watch this again with the video just to make sure that you get all the notes they left in there just so the story makes sense. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you in the next one.